Barn owls are one of our rare owls in Ohio. The population is certainly less than 1,000 individuals that breed in the state. They are mainly concentrated in eastern and southeastern Ohio. So having these barn owls successfully nesting up here at Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge pretty far north is great and shows that the barn owls are certainly doing better in the state. The owls here at Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge successfully nested last year. And this year, we're also able to raise a, a total of eight offspring. Recently, a, another barn owl, an adult, has shown up and has been using the same nest box. And in fact, ate one of the younger nestlings. So this is probably a good sign that there are multiple barn owls in the area, although it's a little bit unusual having this extra adult show up. I came here to ban the barn owls. So we were able to put these little metal bands on the owls. Um, these bands each have a unique number. And that unique number allows us to know if we ever see that bird ever again. This allows us to learn things about those birds that we wouldn't be able to know if we didn't have an individual identification. Things like where they travel to, how long they live, all those life history parameters that would be impossible to know if you didn't know who the individual was. So the banding process starts with, of course, first catching the bird. In the case of barn owls, this is much easier because they're already in a box. Once they have the bird in the hand, then the first step is to determine what size band they take. Barn owls take one of two sizes of bands, either size 6 or size 7A. So I have a leg gauge to measure the leg size, and then select the correct size band. Once the band is selected, then that gets put over the leg and closed. Once that band is tightened up and sealed shut, and then I then check to make sure that it fits correctly, that it can spin around, can slide up and down, that it's not going to cause the bird any problems. Make sure it's stayed relatively round, and then that bird can be released. Whenever we do research with any sort of bird, we're aware that there's the possibility of causing stress and disturbance. Fortunately, there's been a lot of work done uh, with barn owls. Barn owls have been successfully abandoned all over the country, all over the world. And we take those steps to quickly process them. Uh, the owls are placed in bags. Those bags will prevent them from being able to see out. It keeps them relatively calm. Um, banding is done relatively quickly, and then they're placed back uh, into the box that they were taken out of in a pretty short time period to try to minimize that disturbance. The barn owls that we banded today seemed relatively calm. There was a little bit of agitation, as would be expected, but we were able to get them banded and back in the box quickly, and they didn't seem to be too upset about it. We are fortunate here in Ohio to have eight species of regularly occurring owls. Owls are really uh, spectacular animals, not only because of their visual appeal, because of their cultural significance, but also because of their influences in the ecosystem. We can really learn a lot about habitat quality, about how we're affecting the environment by looking at owl populations. The other great thing about owls is that they're found basically everywhere in Ohio. So no matter where you live, you have the opportunity to help out owls. Doing simple things like putting up a box on the side of a tree for a screech owl, or not mowing maybe a side yard for a little bit to help increase the small mammal populations that owls feed on can really help our owl populations. The barn owls at Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge are a great example of if you build it, they will come. The refuge's 11,000 acres of protected habitat provide opportunities for threatened and endangered species to live. Friends of Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge helps to fill the gaps in government funding for the refuge and its species, not just to exist, but thrive. Consider becoming more involved today.